In this example, Cyberdyne Co. issued 8-year deferred coupon bonds and the bonds will not pay any coupons for the next 3 years. So the coupons will be paid annually with the coupon rate of 9% and uh, we'll assume that the par value is $100 and the bonds are currently priced at $70 per 100 par. So we'll need to calculate the yield to maturity of these deferred coupon bonds. So how do you use your financial calculator to calculate the yield to maturity? Now before that, we'll just uh, plot out or we'll just draw the timeline just to visualize the cash flows. So at time zero, there will be a price of 70. So the investor will pay $70 to buy the bond. And then for the first three years, there will be no coupons. So that's zero for the three years. So the coupon will be 9% times uh, 100. Okay, for a coupon of $9 there. So that's the coupon. So from year four, five, six, seven, and of course the final, uh, which was year eight, there will be a coupon of uh, $9 every year from year four up to year eight. Okay, and at year eight, when the bond uh, matures, okay, or expires, then the, there will be a payout of the par value, which is $100. Okay, so they will plus another 800 there. So we'll use the financial calculator to input the cash flows. For this purpose, you will not be able to use the TVM or the time value of money worksheet because the coupons are not paid out every year. So we'll make use of the cash flow worksheet. So you will uh, press CF. So your CFO here will be the cash flow at time zero, which is negative 70. And then we click enter. And then for C01, the cash flow here will be zero. Okay, and uh, and the frequency will be three since uh, it's zero for three years. So just F01 is three here. And then for C02, I will enter nine. Okay, but then the coupon of nine, right, only happens for four years, which is from uh, year four to year seven. In year eight, the total cash flow would be 109. So we can't use that as the cash flow for C02. So for C02, okay, this will be nine. Okay, and then uh, your F02 will be four, four times. And then C03 will be 109. All right, frequency is one. Then go over to IRR and press compute. So the yield to maturity of this deferred coupon bond is 10.49%.